Hey guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Wendy, and uh, this is our newest case that came in today. He is an animal cruelty case that was picked up in San Antonio. Um, obviously, you can see that he is super, super skinny. You can see almost all of his bones. Um, he's very, very anemic, which means his he doesn't have enough blood in his mouth or in his body um, from a severe parasite infection. And uh, so his gums are really white. He's kind of scared right now. He also has a really bad open wound right here on his back leg. Um, we think the people they took him from said it's been like that for about two months. So we're definitely gonna have to look into that and see what we can do for it. He's had a bath, so we've rinsed off all the flea dirt and we've given him a Brevecto to get rid of all the flea and ticks that were on him. So we took him in early this morning and we've done our assessment on him. We've gotten the records from the first uh, clinic that saw him and took him in initially. They have um, given him IV fluids, done blood work on him, given him an antibiotic, and uh, treated for intestinal parasites. So now our concern is how anemic he is and also obviously his weight. Um, we're assuming the weight is due to neglect and with that we'll just have to feed him and watch him gain weight and kind of go from there as far as that goes. With the anemia we're going to recheck now and see if that um, number is coming up and if it is then his body is responding and he may not need a transfusion uh, but if it's lower than it was three days ago then, then we'll have to give him some blood. So it's been a week and as you can see he's still pretty skinny. Come here bud. Um, he has gained about seven pounds. His hematocrit has come up from let's see it was seven then twelve the last time and then we checked it um, again and it's up to 25. Kidney values are still a little up and his liver values are still up. We've been hydroing the leg. Um, definitely getting a little bit better. Still has quite a ways to go but closing in and healing up. Um, so that's looking good. It's been about two weeks since we got Patrick in and he's still doing really, really well. The wound on his leg is healing. His uh, anemia has come up. It's not as low. He's definitely eating up a storm, putting on a little bit of weight. We're now at 43.3, and he started at 32, so we've gained about 10 pounds. We are um, about 52 pounds now. And now we've got to deal with some sort of skin infection going on. Not sure if it's allergies or what's going on, so we're gonna get that cleared up. But as you can see, he's definitely filled out. Yeah, he's just super itchy. And then his leg, oh no, oh deal, oh deal. Okay, and if you, so that's pretty much almost all healed up. Not super oozy anymore. We've had Patrick eight weeks and he has gone from 32 pounds to 63 pounds and he has definitely become a clinic favorite he's just so sweet and adorable he's no longer anemic um, his kidney values are still up so at this point I think that it's just gonna be a kind of a chronic issue for him but he eats and drinks no vomiting no diarrhea urinates normally so hopefully um, he won't really have any issues with it until a little later in life, if maybe even never. <laughs> We're gonna get him neutered and get him um, hopefully adopted. You ready for this? He's got his little prayer blanket for good luck today. All right, see you on the other side. Done with surgery? He did great. So. I just got to get him vaccinated and, oh, let me show you his leg too while he's out and not all wiggly. So almost completely healed. 
Just a tiny little spot. So this is our final update on Patrick. He obviously is feeling much better as you can see. He has gone from 35 pounds to 63 pounds. His leg is healed up. He's no longer anemic. We've gotten rid of all the worms. Uh, his kidney values probably will stay elevated uh, as long as he lives, but maybe not. We'll check him again. And uh, he sees his reflection in the window. What is that, Patrick? What is that? Thanks, everyone, for all your help, all the donations and the support. We couldn't do it without you guys. See you on the next case. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough And you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong But I know what you're going through I know cause I've been there too I don't walk right and I don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong But I wanna be there for you honey Working my job and making money Feet. Now I don't walk right and I don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong